Hello and welcome back to the channel. I know we haven't had a real video in ages as we've been busy, but today we've decided to do a QA. Um I hope you enjoy as it's something a bit different. And anyways, first question is from James at Tabordigo. Link and length tracks, do you prefer them or rubber band type tracks? I definitely prefer link and length tracks over rubber tracks as they obviously have the benefit of not bending. Like these tracks you can see on screen they bend realistically where the joints are and they're from a KV1 from RFM they're the workable type whilst these are the Tasker Sherman M4 tracks and they just bend in half which on a finished kit with all the tension on it will just look unrealistic if we want to be more specific I definitely prefer Tacom Meng Dragon Smart tracks and Border tracks as they're just the non-workable type and they're much easier and they don't take like a whole day to assemble with those side pins next question is from Clayton at Workbench Hobbies what is your favourite paint and why? well I really like Ammo by Mega Acrylics as they are really excellent accessible for me at Hannah's, my favourite hobby store and also if you get the thinning ratio right like with any other acrylics then they spray amazing they're also fine for brush painting but a bit too thin for that however these Vallejo paints are much more dense and less thinned down resulting in a much better brush finish however after all I've heard about a Ammo's new Atom series, especially from Clayton. I might have to get these. Okay, another question from Clayton is What is your favourite thing about the hobby? Well, I love seeing whatever vision I have in my head, like whatever camo, anything, just I love seeing it as a physical object and something like my dream or whatever I imagine like this E75 with some random camo which I just thought of come to life well there's no limits apart from your imagination say I want something like this camo on a well, let's say stug or whatever I've seen in real life I can do it and no one's going to say anything about it it's just the freeform that is amazing and in making your visions come true So next question is from Mike and what is my first kit? Well, my first, our first kit shall I say was this combat set from Ravel in 170 seconds kill the P51 Mustang and ME262 and yeah there's not much to say about the quality of build and finish as they're both pretty appalling standards and as you can see yes well anyways let me say the story behind it so in March of 2021 we were just looking for something to watch and then we came across James May's Toy Stories yes it's from like 2009 or whatever but we just wanted to watch it and in the first episode they were making a life sized Spitfire from Airfix and we had this idea of getting a kit because it just seemed amazing and our dad got us one from Amazon and it was this for like £20 on sale and well that's where it all started. So anyways, we've got a, well, I'll let you guess what it is, but we're getting into more aircraft, shall we say, to bring back the origin. But yeah, that's how it started, and guess what it is below. 
Next question is from Stuart at Model Nerd. What is my favourite subject to build? So, it's probably these Cold War Soviet AFVs, especially the T90 and T72, or I guess beginning with T55. It's just all these vehicles were exported to so many different countries around the world, some are still in use, interestingly. And, well, the camera possibilities on these are endless. Let's say Yugoslavian or Balkans, Africa, Asia, any country you want. So, as you can see, here's the whole of the T-55, Croatian to be exact. And, well, the T-72 is bigger, as you can see. I think the T-90 is the same size. But, well, I haven't made so much of these. Um, there's this T-72 done. Kind of a long time ago, now, I think, of it. Uh, the T-90, which is also from a long time ago, but not really finished. <laughs> Still need time for that. And then, as you saw, that T-55 is in the works and should be finished in some time, I guess. And, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> dusty. These figures also aren't the best, but, yeah. Anyways, next question is from Budgie Sus, which is one of my viewers. So, it's what is my best experience in modeling? If we are talking about the best thing that has happened to me, it's probably getting an airbrush, and it's this Fengda FE180K. And, well, I, I picked up two, because why not two? And... I would say they're pretty pretty darn good and they're not the best and an airbrush is probably not the most useful thing a modeler needs but in my opinion it's pretty useful anyways if we are talking best kit it's definitely Tacom's Hetzer full interior and well in Poland I managed to pick up two of these for a bargain and well it's got full interior as you can see however when I open it, you'll be able to see now. You'll be able to see the interior is not painted the best, as you can see with these people on YouTube just making these interiors look so real as if they were walking inside of them. But my skills aren't at that level, let's say. And when we get around to it, this is the second Hetzer, which is in the Battle of Bulge which will be a video soon also once I get around to editing as you can see even with this torn camo let's say it looks pretty good and who doesn't like a Hetzer continuing on from that question it's my worst experience out of my experiences is probably this amusing hobby Ferdinand which at the time with my skills it wasn't the best of kits maybe it was just my error but the fit on the roof you can't see it as much on the camera from the shadow but there's a massive hole in between the panels uh, it's a really strong candidate for the worst kit um, it, it just wasn't enjoyable and there was a lack of motivation let's say to finish it that's why those shells are unpainted and there's no tracks as the tracks were made out of a strange brown plastic that peeled very strangely let's say so no 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 continuing on from Stuart's question from earlier this time what is our dream kit well We've got many, including this Meng Panther. Looks like a great kit, especially including all this PE. Well, I don't know whether I'd be up to the challenge for that. The tracks are also, well, that previously mentioned, separate link tracks. Yes, I know it seems scary with a lot of work. Oh yeah, and those teeth, which will probably also take a lot of work. But yeah, I mean, who doesn't like a ta challenge? Obviously, there's two sprues for both sides also. And what more can I say about this kit? Just picked up at the tank museum last time. The 
Okay, next kit, sorry for that weight. Mini Arts previously shown T55 Croatian. So, you know what subject I like. You've heard that already in this video. But this paint scheme looks great, especially that other one. Built to go from that point from earlier. And as with a basic, pretty standard mini art kit, packed with 77, if I'm not wrong. Check scale mates for that if you want to, but 77 sprues, which, well, is a hell of a ton. I mean, some of them are small, but there's also these big ones with this huge manual and obviously all the photo etch. Two sprues, I think. I mean, frets, sorry. And, yeah, as shown earlier, not anywhere near finished, but hope to finish it in some time. Okay, two quick fire questions from Stuart again. So, what have I built most of? Well, this has to go to the German AFVs as well. They're obviously such a big subject, you know, ranging from pre-war or early war all the way to 1945. Or even 47, what ifs, I guess. And then the second question, favourite hobby store? Well, I've got a lo not local, <laughs> a bit far, a couple miles, but it's called Hannant's. Well, you've probably heard of it in my other videos and early in this video. But, well, the guys there are just great. You know, a lot of tips and then also... You know, a lot of kits, paints, anything, you know. So, check them out if you're anywhere near there. Well, I hope you got past our horrendous voices for the, that time. I know that, that was around 12 minutes, I'm pretty sure the video is now. And, well, thanks for the questions from our, not so viewers, but just the community, let's say from Stuart, Clayton and James and so on. So thanks a lot and hope you can't wait for the Panzer 3 that's coming up soon. And goodbye.